If I were to make a wish list of features that I'd like to see on a small portable speaker, I would start with sound quality and better sound capabilities than other portable speakers in the same category. Secondly, stereo separation would be good. And of course, good connectivity and an all day battery life would be a win. And if you could throw in some customizable EQs, that would be fantastic. And of course, to top it off, you would need a premium design and premium build qualities so that it looks good. And how much would I be willing to pay for a speaker with all those features? Well, we'll come back to that at the end of this video. So of course, I'm talking about the Soundcore Motion 300. Is this the perfect portable speaker? Well, that's what we're gonna find out in this video. So let's start with the sound quality. Anchor has some serious momentum now. Their speaker game is in motion, with speakers like the Motion X600 and 500 being heavily praised by many tech YouTubers. And I did go on record saying that these speakers truly take your audio to the next level. And if you wanna know why I said that, I'll link my review of these two speakers at the end of this one. And one of the features that's been carried over from the Motion X500 and 600 to this, the 300, is LDAC support. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a codec that allows you to stream three times more data to the speaker than regular SBC. And that means you'll get clearer, more detailed sound delivered to the speaker. But of course, that makes no sense if the speaker itself cannot play back the frequency required for high res audio. However, this speaker, the Motion X 300, with its dual stereo speakers and passive radiator can deliver 20 hertz to 40 kilohertz, and that's why it's got that high-res audio certification. And the AAC codec is no slouch either, so you'll still get fantastic sound out of the speaker, even if you don't have a device that supports LDAC. And if we're honest, Soundcore have definitely targeted the Bose Soundlink Flex, which is a portable speaker roughly the same size as this, but they've tried to one-up it in a few different areas. For example, that high-res audio support means that it's 20 kilohertz clear of the Bose Soundlink Flex, and it's got a 30 watt output. The Soundlink Flex has a 20 watt output, so on paper, this should be clearer and louder than that. Now, I don't have the Bose Soundlink here for you, but I will do a sound test for you, and I think you guys will find this one interesting because what I'm gonna do is connect two devices over the Bluetooth 5.3, a Sony device that has LDAC and an iPhone. So we're gonna test high-res versus regular audio playback on this speaker to see if you can hear a difference. Yes, I do realize that YouTube's compression may completely destroy this test, but like I always say, why not try anyway? Now, I don't know how this has come across in the video, but maybe you heard a difference. One thing's for certain, when you're here in person, you can hear more detail, better bass even, with the LDAC codec, in my opinion. Something that you should know about LDAC is most Android phones do have it. You may need to go into developer options to enable it, but luckily with the Sony phone, you don't have to do that. And when you do enable the sound mode for LDAC, it will limit the connections to just one device. That's because it needs that extra bandwidth to deliver the three times more detail. So it automatically will disconnect from the second device as soon as you switch the modes. And I have also tested this speaker with MQA tracks using Tidal, just to see if I could hear the difference. And I can tell you something, you definitely can notice a difference. 
But I must say it does sound pretty fantastic with AAC also. So I do believe the Soundcore Motion 300 might be one of the most portable high-res audio speakers out there today, and it does sound great, and surprisingly good considering its compact stature. Of course, the bigger the high-res speaker, the better the sound's gonna be, because like Run DMC once said, it's like that, and that's the way it is. So if you want even better sound, you could go for one of the bigger speakers, but this one certainly punches above its weight. So the sound is good, but is it a sound design? Is it robust? So let's get a look at this design. The buttons are actually recessed here on the top, so if it does drop on the top surface, it's not gonna damage any of those buttons, and the power button is kind of sunken in there even deeper. So this means you're not gonna hit it by accident. The grill here on the front is aluminium and it's very much in line with the other speakers in the Motion X range. And this speaker is entirely waterproof with an IPX7 rating. So this means it can be submerged in clean water for up to 30 minutes without drowning. The back and the base of the speaker are rubberized with these kind of rubber feet here. So this will help to absorb any shock should it fall out of a tree and yes, it does have a strap which is detachable so you can hang this from a tree so it falling from a tree is entirely possible. There is a rubber cover here on the side which protects the USB-C port. Unfortunately no analog in, I know some people really appreciate that. You can find that on some of the other Motion X speakers but this particular model the X300 is built to be specifically a Bluetooth speaker. So I am a fan of this design. It looks and feels premium. It's got that strap there, it's waterproof. You can hold it with one hand. You could attach it to your backpack if you wanted to. But what about the power? Well, this light heavyweight speaker can deliver up to 13 hours of playback on a single charge when using the regular codex at 50% volume. It weighs in at 0.8 kilograms, and that's about the same weight as the stack of bills next to my front door. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing and hitting the thumbs up, maybe you could help me out with that a little bit. But anyway, in the world of portable speakers, 0.8 kilograms is a little bit heavy, but it's not fat, it's power, which is definitely what you want and what you need in a portable speaker. So it's pretty safe to say that so far, this speaker has ticked all of the boxes that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. But the Motion 300 does have a magic trick up its aluminum rubberized sleeve. Metaphoric. It is the software and the fact that the Motion 300 has a built-in gyroscope that lets the app know what orientation is in and it will adjust the EQs accordingly. So if I stand it up, you'll notice straight away when I go into the custom EQs that it's standing. If I hang it up using the little detachable strap, straight away it detects that it's now hanging. And when I lay it flat, it switches to the lying profile. Now, if you go to the custom EQ section here, you can actually dial in your own custom EQs for each of those orientations. And you'll also notice there's an extra bass profile here as well, which it will default to. And there is an extra bass button on the top, so you can toggle that on and off whenever you want. And Soundcore give you a lot of control here with the eight band equalizer. You can save those EQs and label them and you can have a bunch of different ones to recall later on. And if you hit the little icon in the top right corner, you can share them with your friends too. So it's safe to say that the Motion X300 has surprised me in many ways. And the icing on the cake is the fact that this, the Motion 300 is half the price or nearly half the price of the Bose equivalent, but it has some features that are better in some areas. That is impressive, and in my opinion, that makes this a durable sound investment. And if you wanna check out the latest deals, there'll be an affiliate link below this video. And if you use that link, you'll be helping me out with that mountain of bills next to my front door, and I would greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you just subscribed, then you are one of the finest subscribers known to man. And if you wanna check out my review of the Motion X 500 or 600, they're on screen right now. Go check those out because those speakers are next level. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Don't be late.